Hello YouTube, Infinite Match, great community, Gandalf here. Uh, has been a very crazy week, apologize, have not been uploading videos uh, between work and family. Uh, it's pretty much taken up every last minute <laughs> that I had this, uh, this week. Lots of things happened. Won't go too much into details. Doing a very short video today, reminding everyone it is the Double Legendary Summon event. Uh, we have a very mediocre or I'll even say, you know, below average banner considering, you know, what we have seen uh, in the past. But again, double legendaries are double legendaries and you should pretty much n never pass up on these and just simply pull to the point where you get a legendary hero. So, good luck on your pulls. Uh, and let's see what we got. Um, and... This is one of those times, right? I always talk about every two weeks uh, on the regular summons, you should always do at least enough to finish the points to get two advanced skill scrolls, because especially if you're free to play, this is the best way to get uh, extra advanced skill scrolls, especially if you're starting out and you have lots of heroes to build and scale up. Um, and summons is what you usually use to get food. But because of double legendary, you just need to get to the first legendary and you will be able to, um, you know, finish the quest. So just one copy, you don't have to do 150. So um, I guess, you know, between, you know, mid of the week, you can try to save up your pity just towards to get that one. So we got Amlek. Um, I think he's gotten a buff over the years. Um, well, over the month, I guess. Um, but. I mean, his relevance is not really there. Let's see what we get for double. Okay, Hertha. Hertha is also mediocre. Um, for those of you who haven't noticed, and there will be a lot of content for me to make and catch up on, um, but maybe just a, some quick overviews to talk about some of the heroes at a high level um, before we dive into it. Uh, more hero adjustment coming this week. I, I, I missed out doing the once from last week, um, but this, uh, let's quickly just touch base on some of these. Um, Violent Claw Strike. Well, this is very nice. This makes Mewtwo a lot stronger um, <laughs> on his auto attacks, um, making him a bit more viable uh, after he transforms. Um, Wow, the, the multiplier here is are quite something. So we'll have to look at Mewtwo's... Um, I mean, what's really nice is it's bringing him much more in line to what he needs to do, right? For Will, um, the multiplier changes don't seem as drastic. Um, The damage do go up quite a bit for a lot of the ones that weren't hitting as hard. Sana, wow, double the damage pretty much. Again, Fio Combo almost double. Yeah, almost, yeah, pretty much double damage across the board. Um, Megan, doubling the damage, doubling the damage. So a lot of the direct damage dealer pretty much weren't feasible in game. Now they're all seeing a substantial buff. Um, this is really nice. It's almost like, um, you know, there's very few bad heroes in game now. Um, the A lot of these heroes we're seeing, if you go to my last tier list update, probably four months ago, that's the, all of those heroes that says we need a rework are getting the rework. Uh, and they finally started the massive uh, uh, five hero a week pace. Um, last week we saw I do remember our Super CM fr friend. Uh, uh, I haven't built him because we've been benching him for a while. But I do recall last week we saw a buff to Igor. So I have to go look at the patch notes. We'll probably do a series of quick uh, overview of the latest uh, hero changes in one of the videos. Someone did ask me to talk about um, the... The Sega City Hero, um, Dharma, um, basically what I'll say is he's well, he is sort of like your 
your Jingle Bell with some debuff down, and he'll be a boss killer. Um, as long as you sustain him in the third form, um, it's a massive seven times, um, seven times two two twenty. Well, I guess plus the additional two eighty. So yeah, it's some some ridiculous like two thousand times multiplier every single turn if you can sustain him in that state which you probably will be able to do uh, in a boss single target scenario um, you can convert him to that state and after like about four turns or so so and he's constantly um, buffing up his attack as well so at exclusive five yeah i wouldn't be surprised if he keeps up with um jingle bell which is really nice right like these ec heroes take a while to build up but they try to make them on par with limit heroes. I know, you know, one complaint a lot of people have is, you know, the the game very much is whale based, where you really need to have every limited hero. Yes, in the PvP arena, but for you to do really well in PvE, limited hero aren't exactly that critical so that's what i'll say like if you want to enjoy all the pve aspect of the game where you're pushing really far on content like uh this is what i'll say right for example endless cloister like people can't go beyond let's say 30 or like without a lot of the limited heroes um especially like you look at every single team for ifrit um it was really hard without jingle bell because you just don't have the direct damage Dharma will be able to answer that um, that gap, right? So hopefully this was a acceptable update for my um, absence for almost a week, I think. Um, but don't worry, guys. I will I will find a way to make it up and catch up. I just need to find the time. Um, it is 2:30 in the morning. Uh, I need to go back to sleep, but I just feel like I've been you know off. I've been silent for a little bit too long. Um, hopefully, um, everyone, uh, is doing great. I'm, I'm doing great. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's just been a, been a crazy week. So, so anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the quick commentaries. Um, and we'll, we'll figure out, uh, well, not, we will figure out, I will figure out, uh, you know, the path forward. Thanks everyone. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Gandalf out.